Well, last week, our investigative team told you about a Portsmouth officer banned from policing in Virginia and is also under investigation. Now, this week, we're investigating a new law that's led to even more officers being kicked out of Virginia's police departments. New at 5, 10 on your side's Mighty Elena Boloris reports for investigative producer Adrian Mayfield. For decades, officer misconduct has been tough to police. I was concerned about uh, police misconduct. Senator Mamie Locke says officers in trouble at one Virginia police department could resign and move to another. And their records necessarily wouldn't follow them. Only a few bad behaviors could disqualify officers from policing in the Commonwealth. A conviction of a felony or certain misdemeanor crimes, a failed drug test, or not keeping up with training. But Locke heard from police supervisors across the Commonwealth about ethical issues in their ranks, unacceptable behaviors, but not bad enough to strip the officers of their badges. It was always, um, or generally always, uh, excessive force or lying because they felt that their hands were tied. Um, in, in many cases where they couldn't do anything. That's why Locke patroned a new bill to expand the police decertification law this year. It was passed by the Virginia General Assembly and went into effect in March. It added excessive force and lying to the list of behaviors that'll get an officer banned from working in Virginia. I think this was a dramatic warranted change uh, in law enforcement. Chesapeake Police Chief Kelvin Wright sits on the Department of Criminal Justice's decertification board. He and many of his colleagues support the new law. Before March, 82 police officers were kicked off the force in Virginia over two decades. This year alone, more than 30 officers have been banned from policing in the Commonwealth, many of them for lying during internal investigations. And I suspect that it will send the right message um, through the ranks of law enforcement to understand how important it is to, that they are truthful in their dealings uh, and therefore that um, if they are found to have you know breached that that law uh, that certification it's gone for our executive producer of investigations Adrian Mayfield I'm Betty Elena Boloris 10 on your side well 10 on your side is investigating police officers who have been decertified across Virginia all this month and next week we'll tell you how this new law is impacting a department on the south side